Welcome to Physiotherapy Classroom. Hello guys, today we'll be talking on herbs palsy. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Herbs palsy is a condition characterized by arm weakness, paralysis and loss of motion. It is a form of an obstetric brachial plexus palsy. It occurs when there is an injury to the upper trunk of the brachial plexus C5 and C6. Brachial plexus is a key network of nerves located where the shoulder meets the base of the neck. There will be inability to use the affected arm and sometimes appear smaller than the other. What causes Epps palsy? Most common causes of Epps palsy, excessive pulling and stretching of the infant head and neck during difficult or prolonged delivery, forceful arm pulling or downward force of the shoulder, forcep delivery injury, vacuum extraction injury. Risk factors of Epps palsy include maternal diabetes, fetal macrosomia, shoulder dystocia, bridge delivery. Symptoms of Epps palsy, partial or total weakness of the arm, loss of feeling in the arm, weakness, numbness, limited motion. Clinical presentation, the newborn will present with the limb kept in a waiter stiff position, shoulder adducted, arm medially rotated, elbow extended, forearm pronated, wrist flexed. There are basically two treatments for Epps palsy, therapy or surgery. The appropriate line of treatment depends on the severity and extent of the nerve injury. Watch out for my next video for physiotherapy treatment of Epps palsy.